What's wrong, Jake? <laughs> I've not vlogged all day, but here I got a tattoo. Six minutes. Six minutes. If anyone wants to know what it feels like, it feels like having the worst itch ever and he trying to itch it with a needle stabbing your yeah. arm. That's I've never heard that. How many people have talked about getting a tattoo when it feels like I've never heard an itch? It's like the literal worst itch I've ever had, and it was being counteracted with a needle going to my arm. So I'm not gonna take it off yet. You're not supposed to. I'm not supposed to. It looks real nice. I'm, I wasn't gonna get it right hey. here. Directions? But they didn't yeah. let you, if you're underage, get a tattoo. There. And they wouldn't let us film in there, otherwise you would've saw me taking it like a champ. <laughs> Think we got some pictures. If there's pictures, I'll throw them up right now. They all just went up on the screen, so that's crazy. We're gonna go eat. Okay, we're going into Smashburger now. Yeah. Literally, the most embarrassing people ever to uh, walk into a Smashburger is those people. They had no idea what they wanted. It's really embarrassing. They didn't know how to order at all. It was just so awkward. I mean, I wasn't much better, but I like to make fun of them, so. Going in to the big part of Nebraska Furniture Mart now. This thing is absolutely massive. It looks like an airport. I can't believe this is an actual store and they have shit to stock it, so. First, let's address this. Um, made a mistake, got out of the shower, and kind of put this hat on. So now I have to deal with this, and my hair has a part right here, as you can see, and it splits down the middle, so we are not gonna deal with that. We're gonna look stupid like this, and not stupid like that so I can't explain how thankful I am for 2,000 subscribers that is incredible that is insane that is there's 2,000 people that's it that is it that is 2,000 people so with that being said here is the big reveal of the six minute tattoo we're gonna pan out. okay we're gonna pan out just a little bit and you guys can kind of see it here but so it looks dope on my arm <laughs> like literally I look so cool uh, tattoos this isn't my first tattoo I have one on my back I got that one I'm gonna try to hide my nipple but it's first one that's you know right here and I'm planning to fill up my arm and you know just it makes me look more like a filmmaker. Honestly, that's not the only reason I did it, so don't get it twisted for stupid reasons that I got a tattoo, but it looks like I actually belong in the profession, so. But let me explain the reasoning behind XIXXXMMXV. If you guys put that in Roman numerals, it is 11, 30 2015 and that is the day I got diagnosed with diabetes and it is a significant date because that really did change my life honestly now looking back at it it changed my life in a way that I think is better now because of there's no really telling what I would be doing right now if I didn't have it and what I would be into and if I would be here so I really would not change this for the world it does suck some days not gonna like front about that but you know what I've met a lot of amazing people and a lot of great people through this and there's no way in ever that I would be in the same who is has the nerve to 
buzz my phone right now. There's no possible way that I would be even in this position without it because I wouldn't have started YouTube three years ago because I wouldn't have fell down to my darkest place and I wouldn't have met so many great people. I've met so many great diabetics and not only diabetics but people who I met because I've been on the internet and um, through that I want to say thank you all and you know what I'm gonna say this for the first time ever I'm glad I have diabetes because I would not be again in this position Two, I would not be here fighting with the best people by my side and I can't wait to see where this goes and I'm excited I'm ecstatic and I just I love the journey love the process I was listening to a I think it was on it was Kevin Hart on Ellen and he's he was talking about the journey and it wouldn't be so great without the downs like the low parts the the parts that don't that make you want to not go any longer I want to say that you got to be patient because even with diabetes it's a grueling process it's probably one of the worst processes to get things under control because one minute you can have it in your hands and it's like the thinnest string on a balloon that if you just open your grip just a little bit it can fly out and it's really hard to get that balloon back but you just gotta have that patience that it will come back to you and you have to keep fighting because if you give up one day it is absolutely the hardest downward spot downward spiral spiral downward spiral that is on this planet because if you give up one day it can absolutely destroy pretty much months after months after months your a1c can go up your mind can um literally be deteriorated 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 it can your mind can just wither away you can't let it beat you from one diabetic to another we are all fighting the same fight in different positions and we got to stick together i've had people who have helped me a lot multiple people whether it's people who are actually insp inspirational or people who are just funny or take your mind off things it can honestly help and that's pro that's one of the main reasons i'm here i had a comment that really stuck with me um, I do read every single comment, so if you guys do want to have a message towards me, go ahead and comment because I will read it. But I do have a comment that I want to share with you guys, and it really, really, really helped me. On my Yes Theory video, which is a very, very well put, put together video, and I do recommend you guys do watch it, um, someone had commented, Thank you for inspiring us. I am also type 1 diabetic. And that right there is the reason I do this because not everyone is looks like they're struggling or not everyone is open about their struggles but if you can hide behind the computer and watch one video that helps you that makes the creator that makes what they're doing absolutely worth it and I love this I love doing this for people who have the same or relatively same situation as me you know it's 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 a tough thing to, you know, I, I can't even put it into words. I'm really bad at putting this into words, but I just don't think you guys get how thankful I am to be in this position, even for that, you know, one comment. I've got a lot more comments, but, you know, there's just that one that sticks out. So, uh, 2,000 subscribers, incredible. Still got to hit goals in 2019. We're only a couple days in, and... Yeah, it's looking like it's gonna be the best year of my life if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys leave a like i appreciate you stopping by for the end of this video if you guys do want a giveaway of my merch soon for 2,000 subscribers i will be more than happy to do that because you know giving back to the people who support my dream every single day is it's the least i can do so i want to thank you guys um again for 2,000 subscribers 
love you all. This has been Alma. I'm out.